Hello guys, so in this video I am going to show you a simple service using REST adapter. So I just created a simple empty project, SOA project, okay. And uh, before move ahead, let me uh, show one simple theory part and uh, let's see what we are doing in this video, right. So uh, let's go there. So here, um, as you can as you can uh, see, like uh, this is a new newly added feature in SOA, right. So in a SOA 12C, it is newly added feature, REST adapter, okay. Uh, this new adapter allows easy calling and exposing of restful services so it is easy to use and also uh, some service want to access our service then it is also very easy to expose uh, our rest service right so this is also one good thing for that and uh, not only uh, oracle introduced the rest adapter but also json support is added so in soa 12 c uh, json support is also added uh, with the rest adapter right and uh, yes, this feature will greatly increase the integration options and flexibility of Oracle SOA suite. And uh, uh, difference between SOAP and REST is SOAP only works with XML format, right? But uh, whereas a REST work with plain text, XML, JSON and HTML as well. Okay. So this is the main difference between SOAP and REST adapter. And uh, yes, we know that I think um, most of you know that the rest comes with this four main uh, main uh, operation right like get post put and delete uh, usually uh, get is when we want some uh, want some data from the request then we are using get request right uh, post is uh, post is mostly used when we have some uh, when we have some uh, like uh, mm, secret information or I can say get and post are mostly equivalent uh, but conventionally uh, we use get to get some data from the uh, service right but post is also uh, same as get but mostly it's used when we have some uh, confidential information okay so yes and also put is for uh, when we want to update some records then we are using put put operation and delete to delete uh, some records from our uh, json uh, uh, json uh, json data collection okay so uh, in this video i am going to perform a get op uh, uh, get operation okay so what we are doing uh, from our side we pass two numbers and uh, we will get some of that number uh, in a json format okay so if we we say number one is tw 12 and number two is 13 then in json format we will get 25 okay i think you understood the concept so without wasting any time let's jump into our j developer so okay so first of all what we need to do is uh, we need to create a schema okay we will use schema for that so i'll just uh, click on uh, right click on the schemas and new and then uh, from gallery uh, i'll click on xml and uh, i'll say xml schema okay so yes and i'll i'll even name as add addition uh, addition schema okay addition schema dot xsd and i'll give this as a default so yes i'll keep a press on okay and here as you can see this file is created now uh, what i will do i'll drag on an another uh, another element from here okay now it's added and uh, i will say this is this will be our uh, request and uh, this will be our response okay response element okay response element okay now i'll i will drag one sequence from here and also for response as well and uh, i we want uh, we want to add two numbers so i'll i'll drag one element from here and also need number two elements so i'll uh, drag as well and also for response okay so i'll drag another element and I will give name as a num1 sorry num1 num2 num2 and num3 okay num3 okay now we need to uh, uh, assign a data types to this so I'll right click on it and I'll go in set types and I will search for integer so uh, integer is here and now I'll right click on it and set type and uh, integer okay uh, sorry uh, integer okay is it is here and for uh, response we also need uh, integer data type okay so I'll go in set types and I'll I'll search for integer 
and I'll set this as integer as well. Okay, so now uh, we can see that uh, our XSD is ready to use. So I'll control, I'll press Control S to save this. Okay, and now uh, we will go in our REST edition demo. Okay, so here we will uh, we will go in a <coughs> we will add one uh, REST adapter here. So I right click on expose service and from in insert uh, we will find for rest adapter okay so here is our rest adapter so i will uh, say rest addition service okay rest addition service will be your name and uh, i'll click on next okay and now uh, i will say in description it will add two numbers it will add two numbers numbers and give will give uh, and will give give response response in json okay so response in json and and resource path i need to uh, need to pass one uh, relative path here so that will be appended to our full uh, url okay so i will say add number add number okay number so okay and i'll press an okay so as you can see this this will be our um, path which we have added to our uh, our url okay so one thing i forgot to tell you is uh, you need to uh, you need to check this uh, service will invoke components using wsdl interfaces so then you can use that schema which we have created okay so now i will again click on this plus button and here uh, yes i'll i'll use get request okay and i will click on this uh, search option and uh, here we will select our schema okay so here i will uh, i will select this request so as you can see our two parameters are added and for response we will we will do same so for response we will uh, we will select response okay so as you can see it is added and uh, yes we want uh, response in a json tag okay and uh, request will be in a xml format okay and yes i'll i'll press on okay okay and i'll i'll finish it so i'll press on finish and so for now uh, i will i i will add one um, people process here so i will click right click on uh, right click on components and i'll write uh, i will uh, select people process and here i will give a name as people process for addition okay for addition okay and i will i will select no service as of now okay and i'll press on okay and then i'll uh, uh, i will drag that to rest service okay uh, okay now i press on okay okay I, then i'll double click on this people process okay and uh, here uh, we will uh, we will receive some inputs from uh, this service so i will uh, drag and drop one receive activity here and uh, i will i will drag this uh, to rest service okay and uh, i will check on this create instance because when we will uh, invoke our service uh, that will be uh, that instance will be created so i will say receive numbers numbers okay and parameter click on this plus button and press on ok ok now apply and ok and then uh, we will we will add one reply activity here ok and also we will we will connect this to rest service ok and uh, yes we will select variable so yes press on ok and uh, i will give name as reply to uh, rest reply to rest ok reply to rest apply and ok and uh, yes we got the response uh, we receive the receive the numbers but we need to assign and we need to do some addition operation okay so we will assign uh, we will drag this assign activity and uh, i'll double click on it okay and uh, here uh, i will i will go in this reply i will right click on this and i will say expand all the childs okay so here num3 is here now uh, uh, i will double click on it okay and here i will i will write one expression so we need number one plus number two as our uh, as our output right uh, so i'll expand this as well 
and uh, from here I will double click on this number one so double click on it and uh, plus plus number two okay double click on it and uh, as we as we can see number one plus number two okay and we we, we are assigning it to number number three and apply and okay okay and uh, yes I think our uh, development is ready now what we'll do we will deploy it and see uh, we are getting the response or not right so I will right click on it and uh, my integrator weblogic server is already up and running so I will, I will deploy it uh, mm -hmm. in my local server so I will say rest adoption demo next uh, uh, next okay and I will say integrator weblogic server next okay so it okay i'll i'll select default and next finish okay so as you can see it is deploying uh rest edition uh, demo to integrated weblogic server okay <laughs> so yes it it might take some seconds okay so wait for now and uh, yes i will i will log in it to my server Sorry, this is my password, right? One, two, three. Okay, so uh, now I will select uh, SOA from here. I'll click on here, and uh, yes, I will select SOA and uh, SOA infra. Okay, SOA infra default server. So I'll double click on it. And uh, I will select uh, that composite. So I'll go in SOA folders and this default folder in which uh, we have deployed our composite so yes in our deployed composite uh, there is red tradition demo okay so this is our composite double click on it and uh, let's test it so click on test rest service okay and uh, yes it's taking some time okay so now we will pass our parameters so we want some right so we will pass 10 and uh, 13 so it's supposed to get 25 as our output okay so let's test it so I click on test web service and uh, yes oh it is taking some time and as you can see uh, we are getting 25 in JSON format okay so yes uh we we uh, got it thank you for watching this video and uh, yes later we uh, i will upload more uh, amazing video related to soa so stay tuned and thank you for watching see you